Right. And to make it any better than that, we've got a special surprise from the celestial objects today. Yeah, really nice something to look forward to this evening, Randy. Just about an hour after sunset, you should look to the sky for this, the great conjunction. I've seen photos already on social media because people have seen this leading up to tonight's peak. It's all about Saturn and Jupiter in the skies. And basically, these two planets will align. If you look at the solar system, sort of like a racetrack, you're going to watch Jupiter uh, pulling in front of Saturn. And this is important and also something fun to look at tonight because it'll be the closest pass of the planet since 1623. They'll be only 0.1 degree apart, which will uh, make it appear as a single star, which is why it's known as the Bethlehem star or the Christmas star. So look to the southwest sky tonight. One hour after sunset conditions should be nice to support that viewing. It was cold this morning, middle and upper 30s for the North Shore, 39 in Homa, 39 in Bell Chase, 54 at the lakefront, 44 at the airport with sunshine. We have recovered nicely 63 degrees with mainly sunny conditions. We also had some fog visibilities recovered as well. Back up to 10 miles north northwest on those winds at 6 miles per hour. Low humidity a nice pleasant first day of winter 57 at the lakefront 62 in Slidell 63 in Bell Chase and 64 in Bogalusa. We'll continue with the 60s through this afternoon by 5 o'clock. We're starting to move back into those upper 50s low 50s by 9 o'clock tonight and again we'll see partly cloudy skies overnight. We'll watch that fog developing again as we watch uh, again dew points and temperatures come closer to each other overnight. Here's high pressure right now and again feeding in a few more clouds for us, but overall really nice afternoon and another cold night, but just not as chilly as it was this morning. Our next disturbance will be shaken out around the northern half of the country. Right now it's coming in from the west coast. This is going to be a big upper level trough, which will bring our next cold frontal boundary through here. This big dip tells you that some cold air is going to be unleashed our way and that's what's going to set us up for the colder half of the week, which takes us through the holiday. So again, tomorrow morning we'll see some passing clouds. We'll see some patchy fog, but we'll get some sunshine mixing in as well. Wednesday will increase the clouds. I think we get a good part of the day that will be dry, but by the evening some scattered showers start to enter the picture. Still some timing differences on when exactly the storms will roll through the GFS a little faster. The European is a little slower, but right now I'm pretty much splitting the difference. So overnight Wednesday into Thursday. We're going to watch the storms pass through, including some locally heavy rain. Good news is by Christmas Eve morning, we will be drier, but it's going to be much colder behind that frontal boundary and on the way a risk for severe storms Wednesday night. This includes a threat of isolated tornadoes and damaging winds, so make sure you're prepared to deal with that potential. Rainfall totals generally an inch or less. We could have some isolated higher totals. Uh, I've seen some back and forth on the models with the European a little bit higher on the totals, but we'll continue to keep you posted, of course, through tomorrow. Here's your seven day forecast behind that cold front. Woo, look at those temperatures. Low to mid 50s Christmas Eve and day and Christmas morning, 20s north, 30s south. There's winter. Randy, back to you. I don't like that 20. <laughs> That's a little 29. Ooh, that, that hurts. North